Hi everybody, welcome to this series on how to install Omeka Classic. Um, I've done this series before uh, and I have left that series up. Um, this is going to be more for people who have a, a better uh, background with Linux. I won't be explaining everything that I do. Um, and I decided to go ahead and, and do this video simply because right after I had created um, my very long series on on how to install Omeka, um, everything changed. Well, the website changed. Um, the the same basic procedures are there, uh, but in this series, I kind of want to tackle things uh, quickly uh, and get to the point much quicker. So we'll start with the new Omeka website, uh, Omeka.org. Uh, this has come up recently, actually very shortly after I created my first series, um, everything changed. So uh, what we have here is a choice between Omeka S and Omeka Classic. I'm not very familiar with Omeka S, um, so I won't get into that at all with this tut tutorial, uh, but we will be looking at Omeka Classic. So the first thing we want to do is click on the Omeka Classic, and we want to go to User Manual, and under installing, we'll start by looking at system requirements. So here, um, Omeka Classic has the following system requirements. Uh, Linux operating system. Um, and so I'm assuming that uh, anybody who's watching this series has already created a LAMP server. Um, we'll go through the steps to make sure we have all of the necessary components. Um, but... Um, but I'm not going to show how to install all of those things. Um, I have other videos that will show you how to do that. Uh, so the very first thing um, I want to do is go into my server. So I have already um, SSH'd into my server. And what I want to do is run um, the d package l command just to see what I have. Um, and so the very first thing we need is uh, Apache. It doesn't say what version we need, but we have a pretty recent version here. Uh, MySQL version 5.0 or higher. Um, MySQL. Uh, so what we're after is uh, the MySQL uh, server. And so here I have 5721, uh, and that is greater than 5.0. Next we need PHP uh, version 5.32 um, or greater. Uh, we have PHP 7 here, so I'm good to go. Um, and the final thing is um, image magic. And um, And as we can see, I don't have image magic installed here. So that's the very first thing I'm going to do is, is make sure I have that installed. So I am going to run sudo apt get install image magic. Okay, so we have successfully installed Image Magic. Um, if you ran into any errors, uh, I would suggest doing some Google searches uh, to figure out what repository you should install to be able to run that command. Uh, you could also do a hard install uh, if you're comfortable with, with that sort of thing, um, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. So now that we have um, Image Magic installed, I do want to point out one other thing. Um, Apache must have uh, mod rewrite enabled, and um, it's probably a good idea um, to just go ahead and, and run the commands to make that happen, just to make sure it actually is up and running. So to do that, we will run um, sudo a2nmod rewrite and enter. Okay, so it's telling us that in order to activate this new configuration, we'll have to run um, service Apache 2 restart. So we will service Apache 2 restart. 
Whoops, we need to be sure to put a pseudo in there. So, pseudo. Okay, so we have enabled mod rewrite. Um, the last thing we need to do is kind of set up the HT access for this. Um, I've never found a, a perfect way of doing that, but uh, this is the way I do it. So we will start by um, going to, let's see, we'll change directories to etc slash apache2. We will list what we have there. And so I'm going to change the apache2 config file. So sudo nano apache2 configuration. And what I want to do is find a line that contains the file path or the directory path to my um, web folder. So control w and slash var slash www. Okay, so that brings us down to this directory line. And what we need to do is allow override all. And I believe that should do it. So we will um, control X and yes to save. Okay, so now that we have done that, we should be good to go. We have Apache, MySQL, PHP, Image Magic. Um, so at this point, we have our system requirements taken care of and can begin um, actually installing Omeka. So in the next video, um, we will look at the installation process. And we have seven steps to go through. Um, so I will see you in the next video.